One of the things I really like about working at Barber Nichols is that we have a very fast-paced product development cycle. We go from a, a completely clean sheet to design where a customer just hands us a set of requirements to designing it, building it, and testing it is often done within a year. One of the other things I really like about working at Barber Nichols is the outdoor lifestyle that comes with it. So here in Colorado, at the Barber Nichols facility, we're about 25 minutes away from a world-class climbing site. We've got a lot of trails for dirt bikes, mountain biking, and ride through the mountain passes. I really enjoy doing that as well. There's people hang gliding and paragliding off of the, uh, the Front Range Mountains here. It's just an incredible amount of opportunities for outdoor engagement here in Colorado. At Barber Nichols, we get to work on lots of exciting projects. Um, I really enjoy waste heat recovery. The idea of producing energy um, is, is just something that really appeals to me and it helps meet the world's energy demands. The transportation sector in the United States alone accounts for about 30% of the increase in greenhouse gas emissions since 1990. So the, the transportation sector is a significant contributor to our increase in greenhouse gas emissions. As the world becomes more focused on greenhouse gas emissions, there's increasingly stringent uh, emissions that are, are being passed and are forecast to be put into, um, into law in the coming years. And uh, the OEMs of, of the large diesel engines are doing everything they can to try to meet those increasingly stringent emissions requirements. And they're turning to advanced technology to do that. What we're working on is a turbine design that is part of a organic ranking cycle that can capture some of that wasted heat and turn it into usable power, which increases the efficiency of the trucks. And what is often done is you'll have a single turbine and a single pressurized uh, loop doing one of these. But with the heat coming from two different heat sources, you've got to be able to capture that heat efficiently from both the high temperature sources and the low temperature source. Traditionally, that would have taken two totally separate turbines. What we at Barber Nichols have done is come up with an innovative way to have one turbine be able to work with, with two different heat sources, and that's really important because it allows that system to be packaged much more economically and makes it more viable and a lower barrier to entry to using it in the market. What additive manufacturing allowed us to do was to have this complex geometry. We were able to get near rot properties, very good tensile and fatigue strength properties in this part that we wouldn't be able to get from a casting. We didn't have to wait for for a casting to be made. We were able to get this printed off pretty quick and, and allowed us to, to get a prototype to the customer in a time-effective manner. We've got other guys that look at rotor dynamics and, and bearings and stresses and, and there's just a lot of teamwork that goes into making a successful product. And it's, it's really neat to be able to go from, from cradle to grave and be able to see a product through its entire life cycle and a year later I'm looking at it in a lab being tested.